it's going down. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashom, Yahweh Shai, Bashom, Brachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashom, Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of It's Going Down, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashom, Yahweh Shai. The brother Yashamai coming back at you with another news article uploaded from uh, Microsoft Start dot msn dot com and here I have a news article that is about a typhoon that slammed into Japan so here it says typhoon Nenmado slams into Japan with record breaking rain so they're going to say rain but I'm pretty sure this was a storm because a typhoon is basically heavy winds that is um, accompanied by rain so this 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 was a, a serious storm that hit Japan which caused millions of people in Japan to evacuate as the typhoon made its first landfall on Monday while much of Puerto Rico was in the dark due to Hurricane Fiona and surges of water from uh, ty typhoon Murbach in undated or on in undotted or un in undated buildings in western Alaska, Japan faced its own major storm. Typhoon Nanmado Nanmado made landfall near Kagoshima City on Sunday evening with winds of 110 miles per hour. Whew. Uh, winds going at 110 miles per hour the equivalent of a strong category 2 hurricane according to the uh, Japan Meteorological Agency JMA its central pressure was 935 millibars at landfall making it the fourth strongest typhoon on record to make landfall in Japan since the agency began collecting the data in 1951 the storm roared onto the main island of Honshu on Monday morning. Nanmado began to weaken as it moved over land yesterday, but still brought heavy rains by Monday evening. Parts of Kyushu, Shikoku, okay, parts of Kyushu, Shikoku Island, and the region of Chugoku experienced. A rainfall over seven inches in 24 hours. Shikoku's Yanasi saw more than 15 inches of rain. According to Yale Climate Connections, the southern main islands of Kyushu saw the heaviest rainfall where observations showed five separate weather stations picked up 19.69 inches of rain in 24 hours on Sunday. Millions of people in southern and western Japan were asked to evacuate their homes before the typhoon hit, and over 300,000 households across uh, southwestern Japan were left without power. Whew. Heavy stuff, man. <laughs> this is all judgment coming from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest. What is a tempest? A tempest is a raging storm, such as a hurricane or a typhoon. That is a tempest. So persecute them. Persecute who? Persecute the wicked. Okay, which the top wicked on the planet is the nation of Edom. And that's starting with... 
the so-called elites trickling down to the rest of their nation of people okay they're the top wicked the top heathen on the planet right now okay the other wicked consists of these other nations such as the East Indians the Africans the Chinese and Japanese the Arabians the Hawaiians okay so the Lord is persecuting these heathens especially the wicked of these heathens with what with the tempest so persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm right isn't that why millions of people in Japan evacuated that's because they, they was afraid of the storm that the Lord was bringing so the Lord made these heathens afraid with their storm the Lord made these heathens afraid with a storm now let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 20 you see Isaiah chapter 29 I don't know if it's 29 or 6 but Isaiah chapter 29 verse 6 it says thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise with storm and tempest so the Lord visited Japan with what with storm and with tempest <laughs> okay and the flame of devouring fire now of course Isaiah 29 and 6 is also talking about the nuclear destruction because you better best believe when I'm, when 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 during the nuclear war when when, the, when those nuclear bombs explode on, on America and on the land of Israel you better best believe that that boom is going to be that loud thunder that 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 the the, the sound of, of those loud booms coming from those nuclear warheads it's going to be it's going to be a terrifying sound like like loud thunder okay and, and, and indeed the whole earth is going to quake at, at, at the uh, the devastation of those nuclear bombs you know those when when those intercontinental ballistic missiles come to this country they're gonna come like a storm but you can also use Isaiah 29 and 6 to describe these these natural disasters which the Lord is bringing upon these heathens now let's go to Nahum chapter 1 verse 3 it says the Lord is slow to anger and great in power the our power Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked the Lord have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet so the scripture said that the Lord have his way in the storm so the Lord is the one directing all of these storms and that's why Japan is getting fucked up down there because they're wicked you just all you got to do is look at the food they're eating okay enough said so so hey the Lord is bringing judgment on him with that I'm gonna say Shalom is on to the next one